Rovinus, Mark. Hi, Dr. Robinson here with another Tech Vision lesson for today. And we are in Google Docs and we are going to go through comments, how to make them and how to read them. So the first thing I am actually uh, going to do is let's just make a comment. And I'm going to hit my end key. Control Alt M is going to make me uh, give me a comment box. Control M dialog comment draft edit combo list box. G R E A T space J. Okay, really easy. Great job. Tab comment button comment press space space frame document content edit type okay. comment create escape. Well, that's easy. Um, and you can do that even without a whole lot of other uh, accessibility options available. But we want to make this fully accessible. The first thing you need to do when you actually open Docs is Control Alt Z. Visually, you can see accessibility up in my menu. But now, let's listen to it. Control Alt Z. Control Z. And typically, it will say off. But since I'm uh, doing a capturing here, it interferes with my command. So let me see if I can force it off or on. Control Z. I can't. Don't you just love that? Uh, but let me show you how to do it another way, just in case your Control Alt Z for whatever reason doesn't want to work either. I'm going to go to Alt H, Alt Shift H to help. Shift H, menu, help, eight of nine. I'm going to go down arrow. I'm going to type in braille. Yeah, I would hit enter on that, but I'm going to actually show you more features. I'm going to go ahead and go down to accessibility settings, and visually you can already see my enable uh, braille support is already checked, and JAWS told you that too. So. Accessibility settings. And I'm down arrowing, enter on accessibility enter. settings. Leading menus, accessibility settings dialog. I'm going to hush JAWS up. Okay, so here's a dialog box, four options here. I have three selected, turn on screen reader support. They're just space bar and check boxes. Turn on braille support, turn on collaborator announcements. So you can even do live edits with your peers. I don't have magnifier support on, but you can either hit enter on that or escape after you're done. Since I have everything selected, I'm just gonna hit escape. Okay, so, um, each command that I give you, sometimes it works absolutely flawlessly the first time, sometimes it takes a couple of times. Uh, so what I want you to know is caps lock semicolon, I have this in laptop mode, so caps lock semicolon or insert uh, semicolon or PC cursor, okay, and then insert Z and listen, off, okay? So now I'm going to do Control Alt Shift A to get into my comments. Right hand sits on Control Alt, left hand Shift A. Control Shift A. Do you love it? Let's do it again. Control Shift A. Comment history box. Okay, and it opens. Use tab. And for whatever reason, sometimes the first time it opens just beautifully. Sometimes it takes two. It doesn't matter. It's just one of those things you just don't give up. This is technology. We know about it. But you need to turn your cursor back on for the next command. So insert Z. And now hit right hand pinky down slash. Beautiful. And then you can just down arrow through all your comments. Robinson. More options button menu 12 09 p.m. to select a text. Paragraph. Okay. Good job. Great job. Easy. Apply button. And I am going to tell you a lot of times it's easier to hit B for button, but you can hit enter on that. And also sometimes it takes twice to hit enter on that. Once again, don't ask me why. I've done this so many times. It's just. Uh, the consistency is it is inconsistent on whether it's going to take one or two times to do. So let's just try it and just see what it does this time. Enter, add a comment, change email notification okay, it selects button. it, enter, enter and enter, enter again. Combo, yeah, and, and that's, that's pretty value. consistent three times on that. Once again, don't ask me why. I can just say okay, okay and I'm going to tab to okay, reply, to comment, reply button, space bar. Comment, and of course, it puts an additional edit box in there. So if the student has a reply back to the teacher's comments, this is something I just stuck in here for an example. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and tab out of my edit boxes. Or options button menu, press, reply and button, you'll reply notice it comments, starts back at the top box, again. Button, mark, edit button, make change, delete button, permanently delete and I could delete press, it press, out. Press, and actually, just so you can see how easy this is, because we accidentally make mistakes all the time, I'm just going to hit enter again. Enter. And once again, you don't give up, enter again. Enter. Delete this comment, yeah. dialog, delete button, enter and enter. delete again, Comments, and that took twice. So I'm just telling you the consistency is either once, twice, or three times, and actually to do it. So tab again. Or options button menu, press space to activate the menu. Then activate now, we already know this is a clickable, and I've already read this first message enough, so I'm just gonna hit slash to go to the next message. Slash. Oh, my cursor popped off or on. Let's try it out, insert Z. 
off. I do want it on. Hit slash. Start the new Robinson graphic clickable. Beautiful. Again. Serious graphic clickable. Okay, this is the next one. So now I'm down arrowing. Serious. More options button menu. Ten thirty one p.m. Set selected text. Okay. Inventions. And now, and what's really nice is whatever word she actually inserted her comment on, that's what that is. So the comment uh, is on inventions. Visually, you can actually see that's highlighted in the document. Let's go ahead down here to listen to her uh, answer or reply. No, this is a source. This is not relevant to your specific project. Okay. Reply button. Reply. Resolve. Button. Resolve. Serious graphic clickable. And you can continue. And you can just continue to go down. So you can do it the long way all the way through. Serious. But once you get to reply, you could hit slash again to go to the next one. But down arrow is pretty easy. More options button. Menu okay. Menu. And that's how easy it is to get through all of this. Once you're done with all your comments, you want to just hit escape and get out of them. Now, you may have not recalled when I first got on here, it said 107. So you do need to make sure you're going through as many comments as there are. But once you're done, hit escape. Okay, escape, frame, document, content, edit, type and text. And then it immediately pops you back into your document, okay? So um, now some think, well, why don't you just go down to where it's highlighted? Well, I'm gonna tell you, that can be pretty challenging. So let me just show you how challenging that would be if you chose that option. I'm gonna control down arrow to jump a paragraph at a time. Okay, and then I'm going to actually control left arrow backwards. Okay, now just so I can do uh, go backwards on this and yeah, see, sometimes, and once again, the, it's very inconsistent. It should have said entering comment. Sometimes it does. I will tell you when I uh, video these screens, my video player really interferes with this because it almost always has said entering comment. But the problem is this is a paragraph down and the blind person would have to move one word at a time to actually find out where this is highlighted. That would just, that's an incredible uh, amount of time. Uh, and it's a waste of time. We don't have that type of time. And you don't need to, especially when you have control alt shift A. Clickables, which is a slash buttons B, really, really easy. So that is how you do comments, making them and reading them in Google Docs. Okay, go forth and conquer Google Docs with comments.